get steak to be so tender? Well, I'm going to demonstrate today how you can have steak just as tender in your own kitchen. I'm going to use a half a cup of olive oil, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. It's a hard word to say, Worcestershire. Two tablespoons soy sauce. It's okay if you don't measure exact. There's no right or wrong way in cooking, right? I'm going to do about two or three sprigs of green onion, half of a lime and half of a lemon juiced. That's going to help break down the steak. In this bowl, I have a teaspoon of garlic and a teaspoon of fresh ginger. You can use dried ginger as well. Then we're going to add in about two teaspoons of thyme. If you have fresh, that's best, but if you don't, dry it is fine too, because that's what I have. We're going to put in some pepper, about two teaspoons of pepper. Then we whisk it up. Might as well give it a taste test, see how we're doing. It's close, but we need some salt. Always give your stuff a taste test. Oh, good. In my Ziploc bag here, I have two pounds of sirloin steak. So I'm going to take my marinade and just dump it right on in the bag. Now, you're gonna try and get all the air out. Seal it, don't forget to seal the bag. Then you're gonna just smush it all around. You're just gonna let it sit for about a minimum of two hours, but it's best if you do it overnight. in your bag go ahead and dump it on and it'll just cook in the juice these steaks you can either put them on a grill cook them in a skillet or slow cook them in the oven that's the option I'm gonna do today bake them at 325 for about 50 minutes to an hour I'm gonna let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes so the juices stay inside and there you have it an easy marinade for steak that's going to make your steak at home taste like restaurant quality. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Lexi.